postprocessor acts like a kind of language translator. That is, it takes the toolpaths inside of HSM works, the positions, lines, arcs, and cutting parameters, and converts them into the specific codes and format for your machine and preferences. To post a single operation, simply highlight it and select Post Process from the Command Manager, or right click and select Post Process from the flyout menu. To post all operations within a job, simply click on the job folder and then select Post Process. To post multiple jobs, highlight all of the folders and then select Post Process. Let me post all the operations in this job. Select the job, Post Process. The last post processor selected becomes the default. HSM Works Post had a .cps extension. This is the generic Haas post, Haas.cps. To select a different post, simply click on the down arrow and browse to find the post for your machine. HSM Works ships with over 70 free library post processors. The program name or number appears in this field. As you can see, this program number is 1234. Most machines require a numeric only program number and many of them limit the number to just four or five characters. However, some machines don't have these restrictions. You can use an alphanumeric program name uh, that can be quite long. You need to check the documentation on your control to see what restrictions your control places on the program name or number. Here is a program comment. This is optional, you don't have to fill it in, and both the program name and comment can be set in the job. If I right click and edit the job and then scroll down, you can see I've set a default program name of 1234 and I've also put in a program comment. These values will be populated in the post processor dialog box, but you can always overwrite those later. All that you have to do to post process is highlight the operations or the folder that you want to post, click on post process, make sure you've selected the correct post processor for your machine, enter a valid program name or number, and then click on post. The resulting G-code file appears in the editor. A G-code file is what the machine reads to make your part. It's a very simple ASCII text file that's transferred to the machine by one of several methods, including a flash drive, RS-232 communications over a cable, Ethernet, or on some older machines, a disk drive or paper tape. It depends on your machine and which method your organization chooses to communicate from the PC to the machine control. Let's go over some of the other fields in the post menu. By default, all post processors are stored in the post directory underneath wherever you chose to install HSM Works. You can change that by clicking on this icon to the right, the one with three dots, and then browsing to another directory on your computer or network. Setup opens a post management dialog box. I don't want to go over this now other than to show that if you've change your default post directory and want to get back to the system default, you can select Use Generic Post and that will reset this field. The output folder where the G-code files will be stored is set in this field. Again, you can change this by clicking on the icon and then browsing to a different directory. Normally you draw, program, and post in the same units that your model's drawn in in your CAD software. This units function allows you to convert to a different system of units when posting. For example, you could program in metric and then post in inches using the setting. However, most people don't use this. Reorder to minimize tool changes resequences operations between jobs so that the first tool is called and then the second, and then the third, and so forth. Now each job has to use a different WCS in order for this feature to work. Again, most people want the program to be executed in the order of operations shown in the list in the Operations Manager. You may want to use this if you had a tombstone set up and 
you favored rotations over tool changes. So you could do everything with tool one, then everything with tool two, and so forth. Open NC file in editor simply launches the editor and reads in your G code file after posting. I like leaving this on because I can clearly see when the posting's done. We get support calls from people occasionally who think their post is not working because they've accidentally toggled this off. To the right is an area with properties and values for this post. This is a way of changing the way the post behaves. For example, if I want to change the sequence number so they start with N1, I can change that here. And if I want to increment between sequence numbers or block numbers, one, I could change that here. So now I will get N1, N2, N3, N4 instead of N10, N20, N30. If you want to edit a post processor, click on the Open Config button. This reads the post into the HSMWorks editor. HSMWorks posts are written in JavaScript. JavaScript is a very popular, fast, and well-documented language. And all the HSMWorks posts are completely open, so you can edit them yourself. There's a lot of information on the internet about JavaScript syntax. Remember though, this is JavaScript, not Java. Those are two different languages. Let's make a simple change to this post. The default extension for this post is .nc. If I wanted to make my extension .pgm, I would just change the text between the parentheses in the extension parameter. Then save your file. Make sure that the file properties for your post and the folder where it's located are not set to read only, or you won't be able to save your changes. You change the properties using the Windows Explorer file manager. It's a good practice to save any customized post as a different file name so you don't corrupt the original file, and also your post won't be overwritten if you reinstall HSMWorks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the editor and I'm also going to leave the post processor dialog box. That way when I go to select post process again, the system will reread the post and the changes that I made. And as you can see, the program extension now defaults to .pgm. Let me change the program number to 4567 and then click on post. As you can see, the program number has been updated and the program has a .pgm extension. That concludes this lesson. Future videos will discuss how to make other changes to the post processor.